What's up, guys, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. It is a rough one out there today. Not very inviting, that's for sure. We're walking outside and running straight into some dug bogs. That's fine. Let me just take care of these guys from a distance. We'll finish these up real quick. We have a very exciting episode ahead of us today. We are going to be meeting Sebastian and his sister at their family home out here on the coast. Yeah, they're fancy like that. I mean... That was a mistake. We should have used the, the finisher on the big one, Trev. There we go. Finish them off. But yeah, we are way down here on the south side of the map, away from the castle. There's uh, kind of some enemy territory in here. There's mana camps and stuff that we haven't taken on yet. But uh, this is their house, I believe. So, um, I guess let's just... Go see what they've got for us. We know that Sebastian's sister has been hit with some sort of a debilitating curse. They have not found a cure for it. And ultimately that is what motivates him. He wants to save her and make things right. And he's not willing to listen to any boundaries in order to do so, if that makes sense. He's willing to break any rule, but he needs to. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Well, I hope you're this right, way. man. I don't want to interject on any family drama or anything, but if I can be of help... Have it a help Felt if you want me to- used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. I can go take care of that base if you need me to. This is your Here house. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Oh man, am I about to be really sad? I hope not. Aha! <gasps> Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. She seems we pretty normal. Tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never oh. accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. It's like a, st a stomach I'm sorry bug? sorry to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. You can speak with Solomon. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. I think we could be persuasive. Is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. 
With I all disagree. With respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I disagree, sir. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. I respectfully disagree. I think we're going to figure out how we can fix this. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. So she can live in fairly normalcy, but she just gets bouts of pain? You're right, Anne. I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't. Truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. Aww. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. No, we're not going to give up. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. So she's not that much... I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. I was going to say, she's not that much older than us, but she's the same age because they're twins. Interesting. Why will she not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. It's a tough situation. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Oof. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Huh? All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. That sounds a little ominous. Up there. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. I mean, we could just go scorched earth, Sebastian. Let's start rounding up the goblins and making them talk. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Well, here we go. We want to slam somebody to the ground. I'm going to use this. Where's he at? Descend <laughs> Do we need to use Leviosa first? Do we have to go up and then down? Oh, he's already dead. Slam a leaping loyalist to the ground, it says. I'm not even sure how to do that. Got a Wiganweld potion off of him. We've got... Uh, I do have three different slots now. Three different sets, spell sets. So we've got our attack set. We've got our... Sneaky set, and we've got our beast type set. Most goblins in my family worked in the mines at one time or other. Oh, 
What's that? Who's there? We need a uh, a red red spell. He's down. Not today. Make a good team, Sebastian. That's what I'm talking about. You've made your last mistake. He says as he walks away slowly. Okay. You're giving me way too many things to throw at you. I want to add uh, this. Oop. Every time I try to get out of this, it um, when I try to press circle to back out of the menu, it, it assigns the spell to that when I don't mean to. We got more over here. We do have our ultimate ability. Could just take him down instantly. Now we're gonna need something like Levioso here. Levioso. Not today. Dude, Sebastian keeps putting him up in the air and then there's nothing they can do. That's pretty fair. That was a bit more than I bargained for. Pretty good. I tried to warn you. Revelio. This is where it happened? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Let's do it. They Rebellion. seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Hmm. So somebody lived here centuries ago. An old Hogwarts professor. It's not beyond the realm of possibility that they were after something that that professor Rebellion. would have had. Pickaxe. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. What are they digging for, though? Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at This well looks familiar. Is this from the cutscene that we saw? With the family? Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, over They were here. looking for the next trial, think I think. this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm... Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. One of the keepers. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. 
The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She lived here. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I'm not making sense, don't worry, bro. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Sounds crazy, oh, I know. And this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch Keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Good finger! Easy peasy. Let's go through. Huh, a stairwell. Rebellion. Wonder what we're gonna find down below. Oh. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. This isn't your regular smash and grab job. Isadora Monogark, journal entry two of seven. One of seven. Let's start with one. It is my second week in camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of her own healers are doing all that they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. So their commune must have been hit by the plague. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would to rid them of their torment. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Got a second one here. I traveled here to learn, but I longed to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. So she's battling inner demons Wondering why she can't Rebellio. help people Lumos. when she has this magical ability to be able to do so. Rebellio. We see. Lumos. Can we go Confringo. back there? Rebellio. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me, too. That's the Undercroft. That's crazy. Interesting. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I... I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic. What does that even mean? Well, Sebastian... I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can special. wield it. I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And that could be what, what hit I your do sister. Know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway? 
Here we come. So this is going to lead us right back to Hogwarts. I'm tempted to hold my breath. I wonder what other secrets this Undercroft is hiding. Obviously, this room is more than just a place to practice a couple of spells. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Okay. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Rune diagram. Hmm. We've seen quite a few puzzles around. I'm wondering if this is Anything gonna have something to do with that. Note? Seems to be a bit uh, worse a for wear. Symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? She I can't been. be sure, of course, but I don't think so. No. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Never mind. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. Secret I scriptorium? I no idea our visit to see Anne would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Uh, I really want to learn some curses, man. Really, 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 really want to, Sebastian. We got to work on this. Last time we were in here, you taught me Confringo. Revelio. I'm trying to learn some deeper, darker stuff than that. Okay, well... Still found a couple of answers, even more questions. The ruins of Falbarton Castle. After duck, do not tell anyone. That size up to something. The heck is she doing this far outside of the castle this late at night? Grab this fast travel point. What is this, Natty? Seems very ominous. What are you up to? Psst, over here. Quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I mean, this seems aggressive, but I'm, I'm down. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. Amen. I'll help you Don't find the letter, me. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards. But we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. So the Ministry and the Oars and everyone else are not uh, doing anything about this, but a couple of 
15 year olds, 16 year olds are taking it in their own hands. Should be interesting. Revelio. Hmm. I wonder what that does. Cavalso. That did it. Oh, we need to pull this out. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Unidentified head item. Gonna have to take that back to our uh, room of requirement and use our thing. Ah, I see what we need to do. Wingardium Leviosa. Be able to bring this over here. Also. Or not. Do we need... I wonder if we make it float. Leviosa. Uh. Wow. So we've got multiple piece puzzles now. Be careful here. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Can definitely go through that. I mean, she said be quiet. This is anything but quiet. Oh, I think we're gonna have to go to the other side. Dead end. Pull it. Okay. I don't think we have to worry about sneaking too much. I don't see anybody around us. That looks as if it might raise the gate. So we've got here. Can't believe I have to write this down, but you moon mines don't listen. Push the gate open, don't blast it. Find it blown to pieces again, I swear it'll be the end of you lot. Revelio. Seems a little upset. We got a downstairs there. We want to use the pool so on this. The pulso. Pulso. Glacius. Is that what you need? Capulso! Accio! Well done. Oh. I will be right up. There's a little two-parter. I didn't even... There's like a door stopper on I it. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Let's try to do it with magic. We have a physical door stopper. Been hanging out with Mr. Moon too, haven't you? That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Yeah, restrain the face. Is that High Wing? <laughs> oh, High Wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! This girl is crazy. I love it. it. There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Climb up and around. We got to yeah, go save High Wing. Are you trouble. kidding me? Oh my god, Poppy's gonna kill us. Okay. We've got some action now, huh? I don't know how we're gonna get around this. Might have to move that at some point. Ah, uh, we gotta push it down. Okay. Lumos. Lumos. Cavalso. Push it down. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio into Wingardium Leviosa. Put this here. To make this thing levitate. Leviosa. Use that as a jump across. But not the safest place to sneak into. I'm not too worried about Down. it. Mr. Down. Revenue. Hello. Best believe I'm taking all the loot from this spot. Patrick. 
Lancaster Dallas. Now you're there. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. I mean, a nice little three-piece. Break it off for him. That's what I'm talking about. We got a level one oh, unlock here. Got him. Pavilion. So there's nothing else out here. We're good to go. Okay. We got something up top. We got stuff over here. Objective is up top. Can I bring this to me? Akio. I hope Natsy's having an easier time of it. I think we're gonna be fine. That's a level two lock. We're gonna have to come back for that. Revelio. Objectives that way. But we have a ladder here. Which usually means loot. Unless it doesn't. Whoa, okay. You're going home in a wooden box! Let me have some! <laughs> oh, there's more of them. You guys ruined my fun, man. Incendio! Levioso! Akio! Expelliarmus! Confringo! I really thought we were gonna one-hit KO her and be done. That would have been fantastic. Okay. Nicely done. Alohomora. Starting to get a little bit quicker at these. You just quickly move them around, you can see where it starts to glimmer a little bit, and then you can fine tune it afterwards. This seems Rebellion. to be the strategy. Gonna keep going up. Gotta go get high wing. High wing the hippogriff. I love how pretty much any gate, any room that you find, you can actually go into. Confringo! Revelio. There's always something more to uncover, too. Astrid, keep an eye on my stash, eh? It's yours if I mysteriously disappear. That liar cheated us out of what was ours, so I took what I could and hit it here. 20 damned years, treated no better than fools who have been here for two blasted weeks. Manfred. Yeah, I think there's, uh, I don't know. Thieves, man. Thieves and bad guys. I just, I, I don't think you can trust them. I think there's going to be a lot of... Disagreeance. I wing. It's alright. There we go. Among the goblins and Rookwood and stuff. There you are. Two hippogriffs, perfect. You better bow, girl. Come on. Bow. Hello, Amor. Hurry. I just kind of got chills, man. Ah! First time oh, seeing a Vada Kedavra oh! used. I'm a freak. Woo! The Hogwarts Express. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. Look at the castle in the background. What a moment. First time riding on a hippogriff. This is amazing. Watch out, High Wing. We don't want to get too close to the tracks. Wow. <laughs> Can see us 
Sam. I wonder if, as a mount, High Wing is going to be able to attack. This is amazing. Got some claws. If we could it's just hop on this instead of our broom and go take on enemies, be pretty cool. It's kind of like Harry's moment. And care of magical beast with Hagrid. Neil the Buckbeak took off, drug a toe in the water. Saved Sirius's life. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. I doubt it. Now. Tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. That's why so Poppy pure. will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. She's just so genuine. Like, she is a Gryffindor through and through. Just real. Brave. Daring and true. New item unlocked, tie wing. Okay. The high keep. I see what you did there. Sepulchria, new item unlocked as well. Caligo. I think Sepulchria is uh, turning high wing into a bestral. So we've got Buster running. High wing. We've got. Away, high wing. Away. Take off. Nice. So we're gonna fly on a broom we can. I think a broom might be a little bit faster if you're close to the ground. Whereas High Wing is gonna be a little bit better because he doesn't have, or she doesn't have the um, stamina on her. So she's just gonna fly at the same speed everywhere she goes. High Wing's a lot cooler, but also a lot slower. Ladies, Ooh. Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that Got in mind, admirers. please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Well, this is exciting, and this is a brand new class that we've never been to before. Dude, this game is just full of surprises. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. This is our Ravenclaw companion. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Okay. I'll see what I can do here. The night sky. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. <laughs> Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. I've seen Is these when we're flying clear? around. <sighs> Dismissed. I've seen telescopes. I was wondering what they were for. That makes sense now. Hello. 
I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I mean... That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. My man's a big I time star guy. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I mean, first time meeting him, this is very kind, for sure. Is this? It was the clock tower, right? The Dumbledore was... Oh, there's stairs over here. There's like a main staircase and then there's... Ah, I see. Okay, leather flat cap. This, this might be the spot. Telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Yeah, this is nice. I mean, it seems nice. Give it as a telescope right off the bat. It's pretty solid. Got to admit, he's probably my, just from description, least favorite companion, but I guess I we'll find out. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> But there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? He wants something You remember from those us. astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Hmm. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But, are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. I can respect him. Sounds exciting. You no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? So the thing is, is Sebastian, he's into the dark arts. Obviously, most exciting. Natsai, really nice, really adventurous. Poppy loves animals. I love all three of those things. He's just very nerdy, but hey, if that's the your thing, is on a castle wall I can ahead. respect it. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Don't Onwards we go. Some say platform. the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Whenever somebody's passionate about something, I can get behind it. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Even if Happy it's not necessarily here. my thing. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? <laughs> the Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're uh, sure. Okay, that's... Kind of what I thought. So he wants to go check this stuff out, but he's a little nervous. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as... Uh, Rebellion as I expected. Amit, could I ask you something? Oh, I meant um, to grab that certainly. paper, but we can talk anyway. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. I mean, that's... Actually, that's all I want to know. Makes sense. Oh, very well then. He seems like a nice guy. Caged bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. And now it stays resting in its jail cell. Okay. 
Can finger. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? We're oh good. no. Not this close to school, I meet. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Okay. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. This is cool. The Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. <laughs> Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. I believe in you, Amit. This is only the beginning. I'm on your you team. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest. All beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. That it's might be. It's all in the throat, a really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Arr. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon.